Uh, we interrupt this program for a special bulletin. Uh, but today, today's message, God is going to do some miraculous things. He's going to exceed your expectation. It's going to do something great. I'm telling you, I can feel it. But before God does that, he wants to give you a miracle in your mind. You know, I was ministering to some people today um, and the way God was teaching me to teach them, you know, uh, Exodus 13 and 17, you know, this is when Pharaoh let the people go. It says um, God did not, you know, when Pharaoh let the people go, it says God did not lead them through the Philistine territory, even though it was the shortest route to the promised land. It said for if they were faced with battle, they will return to Egypt. So that's what we do in our mind. We return back to our past. And God is trying to get us not to do that. Verse 18, it says that so God led them through the roundabout way. Toward the Red Sea. Thus, the Israelites were ready for battle. We're like an army ready for battle. Now, why would God tell them? Now, why would God say in the scripture that they were ready for battle? But if you scroll over, I think it's in Romans. Uh, God says that the, the battle or the battle was not ours. It's the Lord's God. Why would you prepare me for a battle that's not mine? Unless there's a battle in the mind. See, think about it. We know that it's impossible to please God without faith. And God is the rewarder of those who diligently seek God. But watch this. God never told the people, the Israelites, that I'm going to part the Red Sea. Because if he would have told them that, they wouldn't have had faith. They would have just said, you know what? God is going to part the Red Sea. <laughs> Pharaoh would have been chasing them. They'd be like, ah, God going to part the Red Sea. Now, God did not tell them that. See, what is that saying? God does not always give you every detail. God, faith is giving you enough to get you to where you need to go. Did you hear what I said? Faith is getting you enough to get you to where you need to go or where you need to be. See, so God took them towards the Red Sea. But where was their faith at? Because God had to do something. God wouldn't take you to the Red Sea to just leave you. That's not what God going to do. That's why it says first 30 and Samuel says they were greatly distressed. But they, David was talking. He said, but it says that David encouraged himself in the Lord. At some point, you got to encourage yourself. There is a battle in the mind, you know what I'm saying? Regardless of what's going around you, God wants to get you to trust him past what you can see. What does it look like? Does it look like God going to do anything? It don't matter what it look like. You need to stop that. Yes, it says, he who lacks wisdom, let him ask. That's in James, I believe. I think uh, one in three or something like that. But, um. It says, he who lacks wisdom, let him ask. You can ask God to help you out. Just like the one dude, he said, he said, Lord, he said, help me with my unbelief. You know, and that's what God wants you to do. And sometimes God will allow the enemy to get the advantage. Why? Let's get into that. So if you know the story of Gideon, right? Gideon uh, was saying like, you know, Gideon was a coward and Gideon, um, you know, he was in the cave and he was hiding. And so the angel, the Lord was down there talking to Gideon. Gideon was like, God was telling him he's a mighty man of valor. And Gideon was like, no, I'm just a coward. Like he said, and, and two, watch this. He, you see what he did? See, he gave the angel, which he's talking to God. He gave the angel facts. He said, I have the weakest clan. See, that's a fact. See, facts don't always equate the truth. Yes, he did have the weakest clan. But God gave him truth. What was the truth? He was a mighty man of valor. So regardless of what facts show up in your life, you are a mighty woman of valor or a mighty man of valor. No ifs, ands, or buts about that. But it's how you see it. It's your perspective. So, so with the story of Gideon, you know, he was saying that. And so God encouraged him to get up and go fight. So now he's like, all right, God, I'm ready. He goes out there. He recruits. 35,000, is it 32, 32,000 men, I believe. And um, 
He recruits 32,000 men, right? So mind you, they're going up against an army of 135,000, right? So he come back like, God, I'm ready. I'm hyped, God. Like, I'm about to go out here. We about to win this victory or whatever like that. And understand this. God did not tell him, Gideon, good job. You know what God said? Gideon, you got too many men. Hold up, God. You serious? You mean to tell me I just went out there. First of all, let's go back to step one. I was afraid to fight. I had the weakest clan. Those are facts. And then you tell me I got too many men. Battle of the mind, right? So watch this. So Gideon goes and he says, all right, God. He probably was like, God, you play too much. Like, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> so Gideon goes and he gets rid of some men. He gets rid of like 10,000. So he come back like, okay, God, I'm ready to go fight. And God like. God did not say. God said what? He said, you got too many men. God ain't say, you know, you did a good job. God, you keep telling me. So, and then it go, he goes back and he comes back and he goes and he comes back. And then he gets to the point where God tells him, you need to go and like the people that lap or whatever, how he said, God was telling him like the people that lap. And that's how we get to the 300. And you know what the scripture says? God said, because God was telling him why he said, I had to do this in order for me to get the glory so that I can rescue you. But how can, how can God rescue you if there's no shipwreck? Mm, mm, mm. I hope you catch that spiritually. How can God rescue you if there's no shipwreck? So sometimes God allows our enemies to have the advantage. Cause watch this. It looked like, cause you know, they got spies and stuff like that. So they like, they, they over there telling them, yeah, you know, get in about to go face them. They like, they only got 300 men. They got 300 men. But what they failed to realize was the 300 men were fighters. They were trained. They were ready. See, they had a lot of people, but they weren't fighters. They had like farmers and people that make weapons and stuff like that. And, you know, what I'm saying bakers and things like that. So they were never trained. God already knew all of that. So what is God about to do? God is about to do something miraculous in your life. But there's battlefield in the mind. And that's where you got to get. That's where you got to get. You got to ask God, teach me how to train my eyes past what I can see. That's where we got to get to. Because it don't matter what it looks like. Like I told you, facts don't always equate to a truth. And that's one of the enemy's biggest tricks is he shows people facts. And it looked like it. It looked like I'm losing. It looked like Gideon was going to lose. It looked like it. But what was the truth? And who are you listening to? You need somebody on your team or, you know, you need somebody that you can follow that can encourage you and point you in the right direction because this is what it's about. I'm telling you, I'm just telling you what God told me and I'm telling you, it, it allowed me to have so much peace. It allowed me to have so much joy, you know what I'm saying? Because my joy, it says the joy of the Lord is your strength, you know what I'm saying? So I, I, I just I just learned to say, you know what, God, there was times I said, I'm going to just sit back and let God be God. There was times I told God, I said, look, I don't see it. But I trust you. And that's powerful because I was telling God, listen, I know I don't see it, but I know God was pointing me in that direction. And God will always confirm some things. If God tell you to go a certain way, he will always confirm some things. It's this simple. You all you got to do is turn on God's GPS. The GPS system is God's positioning system. I understand that the GPS that goes in our vehicles, you know, center on our phones. Um, they don't always they always take the shortest route. But watch this. No matter which way you go, God's GPS system will always recalculate. You can go this way. That's why sometimes we, you know, we do this and, and it don't work out. And God, it will always recalculate no matter which way you go. You could be going down the wrong road and it'll all you got to do is turn around. I was telling somebody, they was like, yeah, I keep digging myself in a hole. You know, every time I do, I'm digging, I'm digging. I said, stop digging. He was like, I never thought about that. Yeah, stop digging. Until you know you have the blueprints. You know? That's, this, is, this is what we do in life. It's called the spiritual Lego builder. This is what we do in life. You get like a hundred piece Lego set. You look at the picture. And then you just try to make it from there. But we never use the instruction manual. So and sometimes we may get close. But it's a piece missing here. It's a piece missing there. But imagine if we read the instruction manual, Bible, believers instructions before leaving earth. I'm telling y'all, we ain't talking about what people just, you know, people talk religion. I'm talking about a personal relationship. Try God. Trust me. People ask me all the time. They're like, how do you have this much faith in God? 
that's because this is what I pour. This is just what I, what I spend. You know what I'm saying? I spend time in. I spend time in God. That's why I, one of my favorite scriptures, Isaiah 26 and three, it says, "He will keep in perfect peace who his mind has stayed on Thee." Even times people be like, I I told people my story sometimes, and they was more worried than I was. I'm like, God got this. I had to tell them, listen, God got this. And then I waited and then God showed them. Because listen, if God do it for me, he'll do it for you. God ain't no respecter of persons. Man, but well, we're coming up on 11 minutes. So I'm going to just tell you that God is about to exceed your expectations. But he's trying to get a miracle in your mind first. You know, I'm telling you. And then once you learn that, because watch this. When you are in the wilderness, it's when you get power and when you get wisdom. They ain't seen nothing yet. That's why your latter days gonna be greater. You ain't saw what you ain't see what God's about to do for you. When you can just say, you know what? I know God got it. It don't matter. Yeah, it looked like the enemy got the advantage. Don't matter. What does the truth say? Love y'all. God bless.